Oh God. Hello guys, good morning and uh, welcome back to Bindi Bang Fishing. It seems like the other day we were just out fishing and we literally was. Now it's like Tuesday. I actually got the day off work so why not go fishing? But here we are again at just basically one of my favorite lakes in the metro here. Just trying to catch some big bass. We got some pretty decent conditions. It's gonna get up to the 85 degrees today. We got to till about 12. Gotta take the family around to the zoo and stuff, otherwise they're gonna be saying you go fishing too much. But other than that guys, now chit-chatting, goose flying, we're gonna be flying too, and I'll see you guys on the waters. Well, we, we are on the waters now, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so right now I can tell a lot of the grass is like, the lake is turning over, so right now it's like a shallow flat. But I think there might be some fish here. Reason why is because this is a giant feeding flat. And typically, in that fall transition, these fish, they begin to push bait up to the shallow waters. The water visibility of this lake I see has greatly increased. I can see bait at the surface. There's gotta be some bass. They're blowing up, pushing a little bait around. Let's just see there, guys. We're in two feet of water, but typically in the summer, this spot is loaded with grass. So we're gonna try to see if we can get some reaction. Oh. Let's throw it on this gill. Sleeper gill. Dunked. Like a pike, to be honest. This is the first hit of the day. First hit of the day of a sleeper gale. Mm. No rips. Might have been. In a bass. I can see it. It's like baby bluegills swimming around. About this size. Put the buzzer around so we get a reaction. There's fish around here. See those guys? Those are bass swimming around. Since they are the bottom. Little jig at them. Yep. Swimming on the bottom. If that's the case, then these fish are pushed up shallow and around 3.7 feet of water, just swimming around whatever's left of these grass, weeds. Ain't no guarantee, you know, but just they thought. Okay. There's fish in deep waters. There's fish. That's not all my line. Our 
fish relating to hardcover already. Got bumped. There's bait. You can see them. These fish, they just must be focusing on smaller bait, dude. Ooh, immediately hit the dummy blades, dude. Yeah. They're definitely keying into small bait fish. Not so much with the big bait fish. Yeah. Got a response immediately. Try to slow this thing down. Oh, got bumped again. Huh. Now that we made our way back into Coleman Lake, because the water temperature is 67 degrees. Main lake out there is like Frog again. Take off this sleeper. Put it back on its jig again. This time, bring on a different color jig. Another thing I would do is change this guy off. Come on, something's going on. Get out of this pig. Oh. Jeez, that took forever, guys. Holy smokes. 927, first fish of the day. Topwater frog. Is that a sign? Oh my goodness. Thank you, Mr. Bass. He's coming down his gullet. Ooh, that's a bite. That was a bite. Come on. Come on. Had him for a second.
back for it. Get out of there, boy. Get out of there. Ooh. Hell yeah. Dude. Freaking finally, guys. Tough day of fishing. I'm going to take this. Got him jig. Smoked like three, four times. Now I know how these fish are set up, dude. First fish today. Caught at 10.04. Three pounds, uh, 3.39. 3.39. First fish of the day on the scale. Hell yeah. Okay guys, so I caught that fish at that dock and I think the fish is hanging out at that dock because it's the only dock that has those little aeration things running out this whole stretch. I'm thinking these, that fish was just hanging out there. So I just also put some super glue on my FG knot. My FG knot is pretty secure, but two. Why not just add extra insurance? Freaking super glue. And no, it does not make it like all like stiff and stuff, because uh, it can still become very uh, fluid once you let it break in and then just move it around, break it around. so cool finally spinner bait pays off Whew. super shallow water dude oh 2.35 fish number two caught at 10.51 2.33 hell yeah it's just nothing but these this stuff dead cool mill foil Oh God. Pike? Looks like a pike. Oh! <sighs> Came off. It is getting very hot today. I've got my sun mask. Definitely gonna get some tan on my face. <sighs> I get sunburned easily. Oh yes. Yeah, we are back at Main Lake. What? Pretty tough day of fishing. This is the season right now too, where fishing is tough. Fish might even be on docks. Oh, that breeze feels so nice. <sighs> Fish. The sun helps these fish bite sometimes. Fish number three. Come on. Three minutes to go. One point six nine. 
Fish number three, one point six nine. Those fish, they're like right there, and I think bass are just cruising in that grass, just licking up. What I'm doing is just dragging the jig. Oh God, big in. Oh, big in. Oh God. Oh, where are you? Oh, fish number four. One more fish to go. Five fish limit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got it. Zero out. 1.98. Okay. Okay, got it. One more fish to go. Ten minutes to go. Those are bass too. Four, three, two, one, and it's 12. Ah, guys, we were so close to catching our fish. Fifth keeper at least. Oh my goodness. Woof. All right, guys, we are back in the car. What a fun day of fishing. It was uh, tougher than expected, of course, but we have to understand during this transition time where fall is uh, transitioning into the summer, these fish are just kind of anywhere and the weeds are just kind of dead. Um, most of the weed I saw that were in the main lake were in four feet of water or so, but I did see a lot of bait fish. I tried to trigger those fish that I assumed were around those bait fish, but it seems like they just weren't really keying in or being active. I don't know what it was. The temperature and the environment and the weather, everything just set up for big fish and just great fishing conditions. But it is what it is. I uh, was able to find some fish though, so that's a big plus for me. I mean, uh, just adapting and just adjusting and just fishing I mean, you're like every day is just different like some days it's good some days it's bad some days you're just throwing the wrong thing some things you're, some days you're just targeting the wrong stuff but that's what i love about fishing man just being able to go out there and just connecting with nature itself but guys drop in the comments down below how is fishing for you good bad tough let me know let's talk about it but than that guys but than that guys make sure to like comment subscribe if you haven't already and other than that i'll see you on the next one peace out Mmm. -hmm.